Look at this one as an example. Isn't it this is so beautiful? Let us be honest here. Muslim girls, they decide to go fashion. Who of you, Christian ladies, dream to have such a beautiful dress? None of you. Honestly, I feel sorry for you. Imagine yourself, you are a Christian woman, and you want to have the most beautiful, attractive, like your husband, so he can look at you, he go crazy, like, oh, oh my Allah. Uh, husband, husband, turn the light off. Why? Because I will show you this dress will be shiny, even at dark, so you can catch me. Better than the black burqa. At least now you can catch me, even at night. What is this? And then because this is a pervert religion, Muhammad is a pervert, as you know, they even force little children to wear burqa. Look at this. She's not even three years old. She is sentenced to death with this. Do you know how ugly, how, how, how bad it is to wear this cloth and you are living in Indonesia? Do you know how humid those countries are? Do you know how it feels to be inside this very uncomfortable? And what that would do exactly? By the way, what is your front? Oh, okay, I'm guessing. And you, you know, like, you know, it's sometimes it comes with fashion too. Like, isn't it? This is beautiful, really. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck is. <laughs> like, you know. The funny is, I was so upset. I apologize today, by the way. I said like some words I should not say, but I was really, really upset from this filthy day dawah. But look at this. I mean, I have to laugh. I mean, it's disgusting religion. It's filthy, it's dummy, it's stupid. But look at this. What is this? Seriously, what is this? Where is your Where is your mouth? She is putting the thing in her eye. She is trying to force that thing from that uh, uh, hole, this, this little hole, to go to her mouth. I, I don't know what, how you can drink. It's, this is your eye location. I know this is so beautiful. I understand some of you like think this is not right, but you tell me, trust me. Those women are so happy. And by the way, Muslim women, they spend a lot of money on makeup and etc. And then look what they wear. Oh boy. What is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Uh, what the heck? Okay, what? What? Burka LED? You must be kidding me. I mean, the LED technology, they come to the burka? Shame on you making women wearing clothes. Where is the women? <laughs> Prove to me that there is a woman there. Go ahead. Guys, the Abdul saying shame on you making fun of women wearing clothes. Prove to me that there is a woman, not a man. And even if there's somebody, what, what is this? Where is the person? Shame on you. You make fun of us day and night. You call us kuffar, pigs, monkeys, nudges. And now you are talking about shame on you? Well, shame on you to put a woman inside the box like this. What is this? Is that how much you don't trust women, Muslim women? Are you saying to me that Muslim women are not trustworthy? That's why you have to bury them alive? Is that correct, guys? This is mean that Muslims don't trust their women and their women are not trustworthy. Otherwise, why I'm so worried about what? I mean, what people will see? What if somebody saw their face? What would happen exactly? Are you saying to me that you Muslims, when you see a woman face, you start masturbating in the street? 
Are we animals? Look at this beautiful picture. Those are your sisters taking a picture. Look how beautiful it is. There's two garbage bags in the left and the right. In the middle, there is two things. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's a Photoshop. Possible. What is this? Huh. Ah, look how beautiful to go to the park like this. In the summer. Because, you know, I'm worried somebody will see my fingers. If those men, they saw my fingers, they will start touching themselves. A'uzu billah, a'uzu billah. We are very conservative. By the way, the Prophet, he said, you can suckle my breast. But you cannot see my fingers. Right? You can do one day muta. But you cannot see my face. You have to pay first. Very, very, look, what is this? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So beautiful. And you know, the funny is, they say to you, there's no proof of aliens. That's what they say. Uh, the hijab women, when they put, put it in, they feel free. I don't know, I can tell you many stories. I remember once when I was finishing my degree, the last, like the, the graduation day, there is a Muslim woman. At that time, you know, I was just like, you know, very young. And she is young too. She came to me, she hugged me. Hey, how are you doing? I look at her, I said, oh. I have, like, I have family with me. I, I did not recognize her. But the sound, the voice is not strange. So I said, she said, what? You do not know me, right? I said, oh, this is you? Guys, she is wearing, do you know this is like a Spanish style for women? Like, you know, when the, you don't have, uh, like, the top, there's no top. And, like, the, the, the arms going down. I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. There's no top for the, for the, so, like, it's covered from her breast and down. And then there's no top, there's no shoulder, there's nothing. It's like a, a Spanish style. I said, what happened to you? Shut up. My family are not here. And nobody is coming to the graduation. I said, what about, do you take pictures? She said, don't worry, don't worry. I took pictures before I changed to those clothes. Already we took pictures with the hat, with etc. wearing hijab. <laughs> she will send pictures to her family wearing the hijab. Hey, mom, I graduated. Uh -huh. And she kissed me. I was like, she jumped on me and she started kissing my cheek. I didn't know who's this girl. Even my cousins, you know, they look at me. Who's this? Uh, what? You know, you know. Yeah. My uncle wife, she said, what? What are you? What, who's this? They thought I have a relationship with somebody. I said, I don't know. What? Hold on. Who are you? I said, you don't know me? Oh, really? This is you? You know? Yeah, she said, well, this is what happened. I don't know. I mean, she is a Muslim girl, but she is, and she is not even from my uh, college. She is uh, from, she studied Arabic literature, uh, literature, sorry. And she is graduating from the uh, Arabic uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, degree. Uh, and I'm studying law. So we are from two different colleges. But, you know, we, we I met them through a Muslim guy. You know, sometimes we are in the cafeteria. They are with them, so... She, when she dress, usually, she have a hat under the hijab. There's two hijab, and she put a hat even though underneath, so her hair cannot see through. This is how supposedly she is so conservative. But in the graduation day, she was totally a different person, but her family is not there. I told you a story before. Once we took a taxi, and there was... Three girls in the back seat. So it's a taxi from city to city. And it, the, it's like we are not taking the whole taxi for us, you know. Uh, like we call it taxi, but it's, you know, like there's a, as a, otherwise you have to pay for the whole passenger. If you don't, if you're not willing to pay, uh, there's a garage. They will wait until they have five 
customers traveling from this city to that city, and then everyone pay for his own. So there's three Muslim girls in the back wearing burqa like this. They were sitting in the back, and we are two guys, college guys, sitting in the front, and the driver next to us, the driver is a Muslim. So now we arrive to the second city, but we are not done. We still have a long distance, so we are going to travel. So now we have to wait in the other garage in the other city until three more passengers to replace the three girls who they drop. You know, they, he dropped them. They left. We are waiting, and then suddenly three girls wearing very, very revealing clothing, short skirt. They came to, to, to us, and the driver was there. They said, uh, hey, Abu Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, okay, what? He says, we forgot something with you. He said, what do you mean you forgot something with me? They said, there is a small bag. We forgot it in the trunk. They said, no, you are mistaken. You did not come with me. They said, no, we come with you. We came with you. He said, no, you did not. The one who came with me, they are wearing burqa. The three of them. Not you. They said, it is us. We just changed our clothes. And then she started telling him all the stories he was telling us. Everything he said, they start saying to him, you told them this, you told... Actually, I remember like one of the things he said to us, which we don't understand really, that like... He, you know, he sounded like sleepy yawning. I said, be careful, you're driving. He said, you know, as you know, yesterday it, uh, we write the, the homework. You know? We look at each other, I mean, what this guy is like in his uh, 60-something, what homework? He, so he said, he said uh, you go to school? He said, no, son, How, what school? Uh, homework, like, you know, wife, husband, you know, it's uh, Thursday. So the Muslims, they do have sex once a week at Thursday. This is how you have to do his duty. He called it homework. And usually they say that when the woman, she is not attractive. So, so he's tired because yesterday he was doing the homework. So she told him, and you told the guy that uh, you are tired because, th you know, Thursday, yesterday it was Thursday, and you were doing the homework. The guy, he said, oh, what the heck? And then he went to the trunk, he opened, and really he found a little bag, does not belong to us, we have our bags there. And he gave it to them. But then he said with us, when we continue the travel, he said, I will never send my daughter to university to learn in different city." I cannot believe it. My daughter, she dressed the same like they do. This is what women, they do. So as soon they arrive to a different city where their families are not there, they strip, literally. Look how beautiful this picture. Those are the Islamic police women. They go in the street and they beat women who they are not addressing properly. Isn't it this is beautiful? Guys, let us be honest. If we can have this in our work, like anywhere, how much money we can make from tourism to see those aliens? This is so beautiful. I'm being touched. I think I'm going to convert to Islam. Islam touch your heart, if not your ass, you know, or your head. I mean, something else with this. Uh, uh, by the way, don't take them wrong. They are not going to beat anyone with it. No, no. It's just to weave it, you know. Like, you know, there's a, a Quran verse that says you get to shake it, shake it. This is, a, this is that's it. This is a Quran. So you got to shake it, shake it, shake it. So here, it's a very friendly, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, Muslim women going to uh, have suntan. They will put those uh, sticks in the beach and make an umbrella. Like, do it yourself, umbrella, you know. The enemies of Islam, they will take it wrongly. But all of us, we knew that this is absolutely false. Oh, boy. I don't know what happened. I'm opening this thing, and uh, and the more and more I see some crazy pictures, you know. But actually, the most beautiful thing is if you can put your wife or your wives in the trunk. 
That's so beautiful. Isn't it fun? Did any of your husbands or your sons give you the respect to the point he bit you in the trunk? In so-called America? No. Why? Because you don't have the luxury of Islam. Which one you like more? This one or that one? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to open a store to sell burqa. Fashion, you know, which one? Do you like this one? But all of them are the same. Like, which one you like? And look, look. This woman here, she is trying to find the, the 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 best fashion, but all of them are the same. What? What the heck? I don't know. It's so so. But now you see those women, Muslim women in TikTok. They have ten kilograms of makeup. Alhamdulillah, I'm a Muslim, and she have the lipstick and her, you know, I don't know really, and her clothes is so tight. Her breast is coming. You can even see the nipples, and she's but she is wearing hijab. We have to be honest. Hijab is there. You can't deny it, you know. Can you? Enough, enough of this. How many of you women are jealous now? Shall I make a burqa and say it in my channel? Because all channels to make money, they, they sell things. Like buy our t-shirt. Buy our, I mean, or this is the, the you know, Actually, somebody says to me, you should make a t-shirt, we stand uh, with Israel. And I, you know, the first thing I, it came to my head, I mean, why people, they are asking me to do such a thing? Like, we can't stand with Israel without buying a t-shirt of Christian Prince? Is that how you stand with Israel? By buying my t-shirt? So I can make money and this is how it makes you stand with Israel? What about, I have a better idea. What about you send the money to Israel? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a big business, you know.